Hello everyone, this is uh, Inspire 2016. So we would like to give you a free tarot card reading for everyone. So the way we want to read the card is using the six card uh, major arcana layout. So the first card would represent how you feel about yourself right now. The second card will be representing what you most wanted at this moment. And the third card will represent your fears out of the situation that you have been going through. And the fourth card will represent what is going for you. And the fifth card will represent what is going against you. And the last card will be the sixth card represent the outcome according to your situations or the questions that you ask. So all of the spreads will be uh, presented based on your zodiac signs, that means your sun sign, rising sign, your moon sign or whatever sign you have as the one that you hold dear in your deepest heart. So let's begin the reading. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks. Hello Aries. The first card for you is representing how do you feel about yourself. Your card is the Wheel of Fortune. Perhaps you feel due for a bit of good luck or indeed are experiencing some at the moment. The Wheel of Fortune is a card of destiny. What is happening now we could call fate, so if positive things are happening with your love life, career or finances this is no coincidence. If no such things are happening, expect a sudden change in fortune. The second card for you is representing what you want most right now. Your card is the devil. The cards suggest that what you most want at this time you can't have, and like the forbidden fruit this only makes it all the more tempting. Alternatively you know you could go for something, but it would be a bad choice and you'd be doing it for all the wrong reasons. Yes, you want passion and gratification, just be careful where you go looking for it. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the sun. You are afraid that things seem too good to be true, so much pleasure and joy, well enjoy it, sometimes we can be pleasantly surprised. If you have been unwell this is a time of rejuvenation and good health. Perhaps you are afraid that things won't actually get better, have faith you are about to enter a happy and pleasurable time. The sun heralds an ending to difficulties and a time to celebrate with friends and loved ones, a time of pleasure and good news around children or the conception or birth of a longed for baby. The fourth card for you is representing what is going for you. Your card is the Empress. The harvest is here, you are entering a cycle of abundance, happiness and joy. Creative energy is high so if you are considering starting a family, a new job or artistic endeavor this is a favorable time. So, relax and enjoy. The fifth card for you is representing what is going against you. Your card is Judgment. If you allow fear to stop you from taking a chance or a new possibility then you will lose out. Do not ignore the new opportunities being presented to you, a decision, new job or relationship could change your life for the better. Do not refuse change when change at this time is vital, feel the fear and do it anyway. Outcomes may well be delayed. However, this is a time for positive action and not passiveness. The last card for you is representing the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is the Emperor. Expect success and achievement of your goals, this is a time for fulfillment of your ambitions. If you have placed your trust in your father, husband, partner or another man of significance in your life, they will come up trumps for you. If you have been the victim of ill will, don't worry, you will win in the end. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just 
please click subscribe and you will get uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube thanks <laughs>